Hey, guess what? All right, so been AWOL for a minute. Um, sad day. I have to put the top back on. We are gonna have some inclement weather and we gotta have the Jeep. So anyway, if you don't have one of these, in the words of Woody, get one. Oh, obviously we're not moving, so you don't need a moving buddy, but you gotta get yourself one of these. This is a little race board that I've got. But anyway, it's cool. This little banana hammock here, that, uh, that'll hold my freedom tops. So it's normally in that bag, but I just put them back up on top of the Jeep here. So anyway, um, got a couple things that I'm going to install. Um, sorry for the helmet head, I rode the Harley today. How do you like that shirt? It's, it's, a, it's a fine looking shirt. Yep, can you see that? That's our tech. Let's look over here, look. On top of my crappy toolbox. What is that? Come on. Yeah, look at that. You see there, our tech. Come over here to my other toolbox. This Yep. That there is a light bar and pods, rock lights, you know. I'm going full mall crawler with this thing and it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited to go crawl the mall with this. So, I've been I, I went and looked back at some of my YouTube videos. I am too damn serious. There is such RBF on my face. I'm actually a pretty happy-go-lucky guy. I live in a neighborhood that is under construction. I've been here since 2011 and a field across the street from me just sold. And yeah, so we got all these new houses going in and it's really noisy. But I kind of want to give you a, a little tour of my Jeep. Um, I finally stepped up and put these tires on. I'm super happy with these. These are Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws wrapped around some fuel. What wheels are these? I just, oh, hard lines. These are the fuel hard lines. They're an 18. So this is a 325-65R18, which is uh, 34.8 inches um, for y'all Americans. So anyway, but uh, we've got, I've got, a, I've got some footage that I've got hidden away. Um, life is crazy. Get busy. Hi, Harper. So these come along and get in your way of getting mm -hmm. video editing done. But Mew. <laughs> okay. Mew. Okay, that's enough of that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I've got I've got this bumper uh, from Rough Country. I was looking for a bumper. Um, I found this in their like kind of scratch and dent store on eBay and I only paid like 300 and something dollars for this bumper and I, I'm really happy with it um, it's performed well um, it came with the light bar so the only the only stipulation that I got from when I did this is I don't get a warranty with it because it was a scratch and dent uh, or what I have come to figure out on my own is that their their ebay store is stuff that someone has bought the box came damaged they returned it good heavens <laughs> um and then they returned it so so rough country throws it on ebay and sells it for a discount i had everything wrapped in plastic <laughs> nothing wrong with it there, I, there wasn't even a mark on it and every you know all the little dings and stuff are from me um quadratech they're brand new stealth winch, 12,000 pound, uh, through a Factor 55 Pro Link, and uh, a lot happier with that than say the hook system because there is potential of losing um, your winch line, or not your winch line, but your pulling line off of a hook. So I went with that um, red because you know obviously red in the Jeep and all over it. Um, I did, I've got down underneath, I went with a Falcon uh, suspension steering dampener. And uh, that was super easy to install. 
Um, I didn't do a video on that just because they're so they're so straightforward um, with the way they are to install. It's six bolts, seven bolts, because you've got the one that mounts one, two, yeah, so seven. So they're super simple. Turn your wheel all the way to the passenger side, pull the three cast or the, the carriage bolts or the spacers in, blah, 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 blah. It's not that hard. Um, so, and then I've got a ready lift SST 2.5. And I'm really, I am, I'm really happy with this lift. I mean, yeah, it's just a spacer, but the cool thing about it is with the JLU, I could have cleared these 35s without a lift with just a stock suspension under it, but I wanted a little bit more fender clearance. I didn't, I, I really, I, I really like these fenders. I'm really happy with them. I like the way they look from the factory. A unless I step into 37s or go clear as far as 40s, but I, but at that point, I'm gonna have to really dump a crap ton of money into this and completely do all new axles. And I just, I just don't have the money for that right now. Um, so 35 is the max I'm gonna go under this. And you know, they come with 33 stock and I just didn't, I don't know. I, I, I had my, I had my reservations about 37s, but I'm, I'm really happy. Sorry, the Jeep is dirty, but anyway, I digress. Um, I just really like the way it looks with these 33s with that two and a half inch lift. It kind of made it look, you know, it's got a good space between the tire and fender. That ratio is great. Um, one thing I do like is this. Oh man, there's another one. If you have a Jeep, you've got to get a set of these rock slide engineering step sliders. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be here in Utah and I could go pick these right up from rock slide in Logan. I'm 25 minutes from Logan where I live. Um, we're, we're Harry Potter fans. So this has nothing to do with some anime thing. I, uh, Dragon Ball Z, no nothing to do with that um as far as interior the only thing i've really upgraded in here I, and it's definitely an upgrade is a spider web shade now i've got a video on this this thing's awesome i love having this this is a lifesaver especially in like here in utah it's hot that sun beats on you so utah arizona Idaho, even Colorado, and well, anywhere that gets hot during the summer, that thing is a lifesaver. Um, I went all five tires. Um, so it's cool. So if you if you have a JLU and you update your wheels, this doesn't, unless you come in here and mod this, and all it is is there's there's a lip that just kicks out and it, it, if you cut it right to the end of it um you could put this back on and make it look more aesthetically pleasing i mean the, the camera mount is fine the way it is um without that if you go to an aftermarket wheel but i went in and i literally cut off a, maybe a half an inch of plastic and i did it with um some flush cutters and it wasn't that hard to do so it turned out great i'm trying to think what else other than oh I, I guess it's an interior upgrade but uh i went with a a super chips but it's so it's the same thing from super chips or edge or diablo but this one happens to be marked with super chips um it's their trail cal i think i have keys in my pocket so not close enough let's jump in so what's cool about this Show the door. That's obnoxious. Can you see that? I'm gonna back up into my garage a little further. Get a little. Actually, see what I'm looking at. There we go. A little Moab on there in the background, but it gives me. All sorts of different parameters that I can go in and change. You know, I can change. So there's my mile per hour corrected. 
the battery, I can go and change horsepower, RPMs, all this. Um, not only is it like kind of a little info center, it'll read DTCs. This is awesome. Now, what's connected to this is, come up here, throw off these latches real fast. I'm running, I can't see if I'm even looking at it. There is a, put the hood up. Sorry, I'm gonna have to bear with me for a minute. Okay, cool. All right, so down inside, you see that? There is a pulsar module down in there. Um, my good friends at Edge, Help me out. Um, if you if you want some good throttle response out of this, it piggybacks off of your engine PCM. Super simple. Pull pull this out. You know you gotta you gotta. Um, I went and I I did a, a cold air intake. Um, AFE power the Momentum GT. Really like the sound I get out of it. Gave me a little more performance. Um, but yeah, you go in. A couple bolts. That thing piggybacks off of it. Um, and it, it, it made a difference. Uh, throttle response, some horsepower, um, fun ability, is that a word? I'm making that a word today, fun ability. Um, the other other modification I did, it, did, wow, can I speak today or what? Um, if we come down, look down underneath. I got rid of that ugly, massive, exhaust looking thing i threw in a Flowmaster outlaw exhaust it, it trimmed things up a bit um kept everything nice and tight up under the frame so it's out of the way and uh yeah couldn't be happier i love the sound um i haven't dynoed this so i don't know actual um power output but uh yeah it's uh I'm sure there's some gains, but uh, yeah, all in all, I really dig my Jeep. Um, if you're on the fence about getting a, a JLU or even a JKU, you, you can't go wrong with these. These are so much fun. Um, limitless possibilities for upgrades, modifications, or leave the damn thing stock. It's amazing where these will go and what they will do in a stock trim form. You don't have to do all this, but you will. It's, it's a given. Um, so yeah, I will uh, do another video of me installing the Artec light bar brackets for the pods and a bar that goes, um, or the mounts for a light bar that will mount off of these so what's cool about the Artec stuff they space them up they don't actually touch your body everything has got clearance so there's no vibrations no paint wear no nothing and it runs right across this cowl doesn't interfere with your wiper blades that's a big thing for me plus it's a utah company i love supporting local it's one of my favorite things. Um, so if you guys have a company that does Jeep stuff or anything that you like and it's local, go support them. Um, yeah, you can find good deals on the internet. Um, but the best thing about local is when you do need warranty, it's right there. You can go get it. So a little rundown of my Jeep, a few things I'm gonna add. We'll make videos of them. We'll have some fun with them. So anyway, Till then, we will catch you later. Am I being summoned? No. <laughs> so, um, shout out to Artec. Love the shirt, fantastic quality. Not only is the shirt awesome, but they make amazing products. Um, oh, let me go back for a second. The reason I chose Artec is because I got friends at Edge and they were running a little system. I gave them my Jeep for a few days. And they sent me home in their super chips 
Jeep, the gray one. That was a Jeep that kind of made me question my 37s. They are running 37s under that. They look badass, no doubt. Amazing looking Jeep. I didn't, and I don't know if it's the tire manufacturer. They aren't, they aren't Falcon. They, I want to say they were Nittos, but don't quote me. They might not have been, but I didn't like the way they rode. I felt like I was on ice all the time. So that's, and I have a friend here in town, swears by these tires. I'm way happy with these Falcons. These are top notch. Um, my fuel wheels, mint. I'm gonna use that word, mint. They are, they are pretty awesome. I really enjoy them. And uh, so yeah, that's another reason why I went with 35s because I have had the opportunity to run 37s. But back to that super chips Jeep that I had lent to me, they had the LED light bar cross set from Artec with those mounts. And uh, so my lights are from Edge. Uh, so shout out to them um, for, for producing a great product like they do. And uh, so anyway, when I get to those, I'll make sure I film them. We'll throw them on the old YouTubes. And uh, yeah, we'll do some wrenching on it. And uh, I'll show you how easy this stuff is to install. Um, so yeah, anyway, until next time, we'll catch you later.